This is livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin with a viewer question. This one really, really kind of knocked me over when I read this thing. And there's so many implications to this question. And basically, the question is, are piano salespeople untrustworthy? <laughs> I read that things are, really? Heinrich says, is it true that you should never trust a person selling pianos? Are you different? And I was taken aback by this, thinking, what kind of experiences has this man had? And if he's had these experiences, how many others out there have had experiences like this? And to answer this question, I want to talk about something personal. We recently bought a building, uh, a restored Victorian building uh, in the Waterloo Arts District in Cleveland, where is the, which is the new home of living pianos. And this is a magnificent structure that was built during the Civil War. And it is absolutely beautiful. And throughout the whole thing, there's all this woodwork of old growth forests that you just don't see anymore. But you know, the floors had never ever been, nothing. nobody ever did anything with the floors. And we're looking at these things and you know, they're kind of old and tired and wondering what's under there. And we came across a contract who was recommended by my brother-in-law uh, who does floors. And he came in and you know, if you've ever had contractors, you know, sometimes it can be a, just a hair-raising experience because they're, they're saying a bunch of stuff to you. You don't know what to believe, what not to believe. They're trying to sell you all kinds of stuff. You don't know what you should do. But when you have a great salesman like we had, Johnny took us through and showed us everything we needed to understand. He educated us. More importantly, he listened to us. There's nothing worse than going to somebody, whatever it is, whether it's an auto mechanic, a home contractor, a car salesman, we've all been through it, where they just don't listen to what you're saying. And you, you know, you're, you're blue in the face and they're trying to sell you something, obviously, and they're not solving your problem. And that is ultimately what a great salesperson does. They listen to you so they understand your situation and they solve problems. Now, great salespeople are few and far between. Are they more prevalent uh, in the piano industry or less prevalent than in other industries? I, I would hope that they are not any more, there aren't worse salespeople in the piano industry than other industries. But you know, great salespeople are quite rare. Um, you know, for example, in personal experience, years ago, I, um, I got an opportunity to move to California, managing the 10th largest music store in the country. And this was in Universal City, catering to the recording industry. And it was uh, really interesting, all these recording studios. And I, I've always been very, very absorbed. Some would say obsessed with music technology. <laughs> and so it was a natural fit for me. And interestingly, the reason I bring this up is that people would come in and they'd say, I want this gadget. And they'd have this model number and they had it in their mind. They wanted this. And instead of just going, okay, here it is. And here's a box, boom, ring it up. No, tell me about how you're using this. What other gear do you have in your studio? Uh, what, what are you after with this? Okay, well, did you know that with your software that you've already got, you could actually use this interface to achieve the same thing that this much more expensive box does for you. Anyway, the idea is that if you listen to people, a great salesperson will listen to somebody to know what their issue is, what they're trying to achieve, and be able to educate them so they can make the right decisions for themselves. And I'd like to think that there are people in the piano industry who are doing exactly that. I know many people in the piano industry who have a passion for the piano and really care about the people and the music for future generations. So the reason why I'm bringing all this up publicly is I want to hear from you. By livingpianos.com, you can leave comments as well as on YouTube. And I want to know what your experiences have been. Are great salespeople in the piano industry more common or the ones who are self-serving, trying to push something on you without giving you the knowledge of what you're even buying, much less what you need? I hope it's the former and not the latter, but this is a way, it's a forum, a public forum on this topic because Heinrich really wants to know, and so do I. He brought up a really good point. 
So that's my, that's the show for today, and I'm looking forward to the comments on this one. Again, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thank you for all your subscribers. We'll see you next time.